continuing on with related rates, we have there are six steps. You want to make a sketch, ID the given information, ID what you need to find. Again, all three steps are starting off at the same time. Step four, write down the equation that you will need. Step five, derive, so differentiate the equation. And step six, substitute in the values and solve the problem. So in our problem, we have a snowball that's melting. A snowball is going to look like a sphere. So drawing a sketch of a sphere in which the snowball is melting. The given information is that the surface area is decreasing at a rate of 1 centimeter squared per minute. So d surface area dt, that's the rate, is equal to 1, negative 1 centimeter squared per minute. Another given information is the diameter is 10 centimeters, so labeling D for diameter is equal to 10 centimeters, and identifying diameter in the drawing as well. The question asks to find the rate at which the diameter is decreasing, so we're looking for DDDT, the rate of the diameter with respect to time. The equation that we'll need is surface area. Surface area for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Since the problem doesn't use radius, it used diameter. We'll have to go ahead and replace radius is equal to 1 half diameter into our surface area problem. So surface area is equal to 4 pi, replacing in 1 half diameter for the radius. So the surface area then is just pi times diameter squared. Step five is to derive, so we'll derive surface area with respect to time. So d surface area dt is equal to 2 pi times the diameter, and then re respect to time, diameter with respect to time. Replacing in the given information, negative 1 for d surface area dt, replacing the diameter of 10, solving for d, d dt. So dddt is equal to negative 1 over 20 pi. And then for our units, diameter is being measured in centimeters, and time is measured in minutes. So 1 over 20 pi centimeters per minute is the rate that the diameter is decreasing. So we have a ladder that is leaning against a vertical wall. So drawing a picture of a ladder leaning against the wall, labeling the ladder to be L for ladder. Given information is the ladder is equal to 25 feet. Another given information is we have a speed in which the ladder is sliding away from the wall of 3 feet per second. So labeling the bottom of the ladder from the wall is x. So we have dx dt is equal to 3 feet per second. Another given information is the ladder is 7 feet away from the wall, so the value of x is equal to 7 feet. And then the question is asking how fast is the ladder falling, labeling the height of y, so we're looking for dy dt, the rate at which the height is decreasing. So using Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared is equal to l squared is going to be our equation. Deriving with respect to time, we have 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt is equal to 0. Derivative of the ladder with respect to time is going to be 0. Since the length of the ladder is constant, the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. The ladder does not change in size. Replacing in our value for x of 7, dx dt, which was 3, plus 2, we don't have the value for y, we'll get that in a second, and then we have dy dt, and is equal to 0. To get our value of y, go back to the original equation using x squared plus y squared equals l squared. So we have 7 squared plus y squared is equal to 25 squared. So 49 plus y squared is equal to 625. Then y squared is equal to 576. So the value of y is equal to 24. Replacing 24 back into the problem, now solving for dy dt. It's easier not to multiply out your coefficients since we don't get to use a calculator on this problem. So leaving as 2 times 24 dy dt is equal to negative 2 times 7 times 3. Solving for dy dt, you'll have negative 2 times 7 times 3 over the 2 times the 24. So then reducing the 2s, 
and reducing the 3 with the 24. So we'll get the value of dy dt is equal to negative 7 eighths. Since y is measured in feet and time is measured in seconds, negative 7 eighths feet per second.